My name is Laura Eccles Richter, and we continue our devotionals today as we look at three different passages. The first comes to us from Matthew 7. It says, ask and you shall receive. And I don't know about you, but when I hear that, I begin to think, well, is that like putting together an Amazon wish list? You know, there are only 339 more days till Christmas. And we get into that consumer mentality. It's so easy to jump to that if we read only just a portion of the verses of Scripture. That's where we begin to have, well, what Mike Slaughter talks about in terms of this prosperity gospel, thinking that we are here just to receive all the time from God. Ask and you shall receive. And yet, when we really talk about abundance, about receiving the abundant gifts of God, it is not just about receiving things. And it isn't about us. It is about how we really receive the gifts of God so that we well, can offer those, extend those to others. All three of the verses that were lifted up in the devotional today, they all help us see the bigger picture, especially if we look at the broader chapters that they are in. The first one is 2 Corinthians 9, 8, and 9. The passage reads, God has the power to provide you with more than enough of every kind of grace. That way you will have everything you need always and in everything to provide more than enough for every kind of good work. It's not about receiving things. It's about receiving God's grace so that we can be participants in the fullness of God's good works in the world. The passage from Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, My God will meet every need out of his riches in the glory that is found in Christ Jesus. And again, we get tied into that verse, that, that word riches too often, and yet it is really about how do we live into the glory of Christ. And then finally we come to this passage from Matthew 7. Ask and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. For doesn't God know how to give the good gifts to us even more than we know? And if we read the fullness of the passage, we go down and we read about two builders, two people laying foundations for their house. The wise builder lays a foundation on rock knowing that when the storms come, no matter how big the house, that it will stand. Ultimately, we've got to consistently go back to the understanding from Genesis 12, that we are blessed to be a blessing to others. Ask and you shall receive, yes. But as we receive, remember that we live into the fullness of God's grace being a blessing for all that we meet. Amen.